Barbie. Beyond the glitz and glamour, what kind of influence does this iconic doll have on young minds, especially when it comes to body image? We are exploring this question using academic research, all of which are referenced in the description. Welcome back to Health Literacy Square channel, where we break down complex health topics for better understanding. Today, we're diving into a topic many of us have encountered in our childhoods, Barbie, a household name that many of us grew up with. From her debut in the late 1950s to her modern iterations, she's been a constant in the world of toys. Over the decades, Barbie has transformed, mirroring societal changes and evolving beauty standards. But this leads us to an important question. What kind of influence does Barbie, with her distinct physique, have on the young minds that engage with her? It's a valid concern. With Barbie's iconic and often unattainable proportions, one can't help but ponder the potential impact on a child's self-perception. And we're not alone in this thought. Researchers have taken a keen interest delving into the nuanced relationship between Barbie's physique and the self-image of young girls. Intrigued? Let's explore this further. Study 1. Barbie Dolls and Beauty Standards Let's start with a study that really caught our attention. It delves deep into the relationship between Barbie dolls and the beauty standards they might set for our younger generation. Think about it. Barbie, for years, has been this symbol of beauty and grace. But what happens when young minds start comparing themselves to a figure that, let's be honest, has proportions that aren't typically seen in everyday life? This particular study took a closer look at how young girls felt after playing with Barbie dolls. It explored their views on their own body shapes, the body shapes they aspired to, and how they envisioned themselves in the future. And the findings? Quite revealing. Many of these girls, after playing with Barbie, felt a sense of body dissatisfaction. It seems they began to view Barbie's unique proportions as the gold standard of beauty. This shift in perception led to a drop in self-esteem and a heightened sense of body dissatisfaction. It's a poignant reminder of how influential toys, especially icons like Barbie, can be in shaping a child's self-view. But this research isn't just about highlighting potential issues. It's also a call to action emphasizing the need for a more diverse toy landscape that celebrates a broader range of beauty standards. Study 2. Barbie's Body Representation Moving on, there's another intriguing study that caught our eye. This one delves into the cognitive body representation among young girls and adolescents when they interact with Barbie. Now, we've all had that moment, right? Looking at a toy or a character and wondering, do I look like that? Or should I look like that? This study aimed to understand just that. The research introduced a fascinating concept called self-other body matching. In simpler terms, it's about how girls mentally compare their own bodies to Barbies when they play with her. And here's the kicker. The strength of this comparison, this matching, is influenced by the specific type of Barbie doll. So a curvy Barbie might elicit different feelings and comparisons than, say, a classic Barbie. The results were quite telling. Many girls, especially those in their early teens, showed signs of this self-other body matching. It's a subtle yet powerful indication of how toys can shape self-perception, even if it's on a subconscious level. This study isn't just academic jargon. It's a real-world insight into the minds of our younger generation. It underscores the importance of being mindful about the toys we introduce to children, and the potential messages they might carry. Study three, Barbie's long-lasting impact. All right, let's shift gears a bit. Ever wondered if the toys we played with as kids have a lasting impact on us as adults? Well, there's a study that delves right into that question, specifically focusing on Barbie. It's a bit nostalgic, isn't it? Thinking back to our childhood toys. But this research took a deeper dive, exploring whether playing with Barbies during childhood had any long-term effects on women's body image in their adult years. One key term that popped up in the study was the drive for thinness. It's this internal push, a desire to achieve and maintain a slender physique. And here's what they found. The age at which girls first played with Barbies was linked to a stronger drive for thinness when they grew up. In other words, the earlier they started with Barbie, the more they internalized that thin ideal into adulthood. It's a thought-provoking finding, isn't it? 
It emphasizes how early experiences, even something as seemingly innocent as playing with a doll, can leave a lasting imprint on our self-perception and ideals. This research serves as a reminder. It's not just about the here and now. The toys and messages we expose children to can resonate with them long into their adult lives. It's a call for awareness, reflection, and perhaps change. Study four, other influences on body image. As we delve deeper into the world of body image, it's crucial to remember that it's not just toys shaping perceptions. Family dynamics play a pivotal role too. Think about it. Our first interactions, our first understanding of the world often come from our families. And this study took a closer look at how bonding with parents influences a child's body image. But it doesn't stop there. The research also explored how sociocultural attitudes toward appearance impact young girls. It's a complex web of personal interactions and societal pressures. The findings were insightful. Stronger bonding with parents was linked to a healthier body image. On the flip side, negative sociocultural attitudes could increase the risk of eating disorders. It's a stark reminder of the multifaceted influences on a young girl's self-perception. While external factors like toys and media play a role, the foundation often lies within the family and the broader cultural context. This research underscores the importance of fostering positive environments, both at home and in society. It's about creating spaces where every individual feels valued, understood, and accepted for who they truly are. As we've journeyed through these studies, it's evident that body image, self-perception, and the influences shaping them are complex and multifaceted. From the toys we play with, like Barbie, to the foundational relationships we build with our families, numerous factors play a role in how young girls perceive themselves. Here are a few tips to promote body positivity. One, diverse toys. Firstly, consider diversifying the toy chest. Introduce dolls and toys that represent a range of body types, ethnicities, and abilities. It's about reflecting the real world's diversity and promoting inclusivity from a young age. Two, open conversations. Engage in open conversations with young ones about body image. Create a safe space where they can express their feelings, ask questions, and understand that beauty is multifaceted and not confined to a single standard. Three, family bonding. Strengthen family bonds. As we've seen, a strong connection with parents can positively influence a child's self-perception. Spend quality time together. Engage in activities that boost self-esteem and reinforce the idea that self-worth goes beyond physical appearance. Four, educational initiatives. Support and participate in educational initiatives that promote body positivity and self-acceptance. Whether it's workshops, community gatherings, or school programs, these platforms can equip young girls with the tools to navigate societal pressures. It's clear that the influences on body image are multifaceted, from toys like Barbie to family dynamics. While external influences like toys and societal standards play a role, the power of positive reinforcement, education, and family bonds cannot be overstated. It's a collective effort, and together, we can pave the way for a more accepting, understanding, and inclusive future. As we wrap up, we'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Health Literacy Square for more in-depth explorations on health and well-being. Let's work together to build a community that's informed, understanding, and proactive about health. Drop your comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Thank you.